first graders, happy Friday. Here's a super quick ready gen mini lesson and your last one for the book Arbor Day Square. Yesterday I asked you to think about the important events from the end of the story and I told you I would share my events chart after I filled it out. Here's one of the important events that I found on page 24 and 25. Katie tells her daughter, don't worry, they'll grow. That's important because that's how it was at the beginning of the book when they told Katie that and now it's come full circle. Katie's telling her daughter the same. Page 26 and 27. An important event to remember from this story is that they had a picnic under that important, that important dogwood tree, so important to Katie's family. And on the last page, the important event, they're going to celebrate year after year after year, and they do. Tuck that away. Today, I only want you to listen to page 30. Page 30 is very different from the rest of the story. In fact, it's not even part of the story. It's an author's note. Sometimes authors will put a little extra at the end of a book if they want you to know some important information. And that's exactly what Catherine Galbraith does in Arbor Day Square. Here is her author's note. She's going to teach you all about Arbor Day. This is not a story. Stories have that character, setting, beginning, middle, end. This is informational text. This is going to be teaching you facts. You'll have all sorts of interesting, true information in here. So it's the only thing I want you to listen to today, boys and girls. And as you're listening to those true facts about Arbor Day, here's some vocabulary words for you. Maybe they're new, maybe you already own them. Huge, huge, extremely large. <laughs> Look at that burger. Oh my goodness. And success. Success is an accomplishment, like finishing Alexia level. Success. So that's what you're listening for. Huge and success. Next week on Tuesday, I'll have a brand new Ready Gen book for you. Nice job, boys and girls.